Hi right, guys, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, Project MGB Supercharger. In this episode we're still focusing on cooling and we're going to be putting some cold air ducting on this car to try and get some cold air flow into that supercharger area. Come with me, my name's Craig and I'm exhausted. Let's do this. Right then guys, I've been doing some 3D printing, the bits and bobs I need to make this work. So we shall we'll go over these, careful, careful now. It's going to be sliding down the bonnet. Right. And I've also got some ducting. It's a bit windy, so watch out for that box. And some clips, although I'm not sure I need those. Right, so the first piece we've got is this bit that's going to go at the front of the car in the grill. It's a pretty much a copy of one that I've seen on a few um, MGB race cars. I mean, you can buy them, but I think they're made out of aluminium or stainless steel, welded plate and uh, um, a bit of pipe work. It goes in the front, but this cost me pen, tuppence to, to print, so I thought I'd give it a go. Give, see if it looks more right printed, seems to be okay. And then, um, and then I've got a couple of bits here that's going to be on the other side. So this is then going to be sat on the radiator shroud that's going to accept the bit of ducting that's going to run from the front to that. And then I'm just going to bolt this bit, bit on the other side to make it look nice and neat for when I cut the hole through that radiator shroud here. Obviously the hole's not big enough, so we're going to make that bigger. Um, we're going to move the water bottle. This is going to go up there and I'll show you that. So that's going to get moved. And then this, I've already sized all this up. It's going to sit there just like that with a mirror version on the other side which is going to look great right so key to all this is the bit at the front so i'll put an image up now just here or there um of that on some race cars um, so this is going to go in here i can't quite fit it in but i'll shimmy it through this gap so that's going to go in there like that we're going to cut the grill um actually we're not going to cut this grill. we're going to take this one off so i've still got this full piece and I've got some more so we're going to make a new two new pieces that's going to go in here and this is going to get attached so I've got one fitting at the top you're supposed to have ones at the end but I just not get around to fitting them and it's a pretty stable so one at the top you have to get out and then these three in here I would have made this in two pieces, so this is separate to that. So just take this through top. Eight millimetres. Oh. Right, this, this was a plastic honeycomb grill, so I had to space these space these out here. So obviously it sits a bit further back, so I'll make this flush. Right. It's still quite sharp, so be careful with that. So now we need to figure out, so that's going to go in like that. You see I've created a recess on the back of that, so I can put the mesh in there. Which is how I attach that to that. Five mil top and bottom. With a thicker section in the middle. Right guys, I've just been thinking about how to mount this and how to mount this on it so it's nice and flush so i'm going to make this is the first one actually the second one i did did some reinforcement but i'm going to quickly make some modifications to this print it off and then we'll be good to again good to go again tomorrow um a few hours for me and uh well a fair few hours for me instantaneously for you so see you in a second right guys zip by magic and back so that was what we had yesterday it's now the next day i printed a couple more made a few modifications to help me fit this easily um but then i did a reprint so i want to do a few final tweaks so right so this is what we had this is going to go here um this was a bit too short not coming up high enough so i made it ever so slightly longer here um then i put in this block at the bottom to enable me to connect it to this bracket here okay um but i put a chamfer on that but that's not takes so i've taken the chamfer off and then I put in these bits on the side, and what's that going to do is let me slide the, the grill into there, hold it in place, 
So I attach that, slide them in, and all I have to do is then bolt it back down and that'll stay nicely um, flush and look good from the outside. So, um, so this one I reprinted because I wanted to change this bit and put a hole in it. So that's now in, which is great. And that hole looks to be in just about the right place. I've got three holes here. So we're gonna drill into the grill and then just rivet that on. So that'll lock that in place and I'll put a bolt through that hole yeah, that looks pretty perfect. I mean, if those of you interested in the printing process as well, if you look at these two closely, this one's a lot shinier than this. Same filament, it's just that this one was done at much higher speed, so I slowed it right down on this one and got a much different, more silver finish. This looks a lot bluer, doesn't it? Um, still would have done the job, but that's a better, more silver, shiny finish. That's in, good and proper, nice one. Right, get the grill bits in. Right, guys, so the easiest thing for me to do here would just be to cut up this piece that was already in there, but I don't really want to do that. I want to save that, just in case I want to ever, ever want to go back. I'll have that ready-made piece. I've got enough here to remake it, but I know this fits nicely, so I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is just get a bit of cardboard and remake that car shape out of cardboard, then cut it to fit it in here. Then we'll use those cardboard templates to cut it out of the, out of the mesh. Uh, rain might be coming. Another few millimetres. And that should fit. So slide it into there. Slide it in there. And then I've marked those up onto my mesh. So on this piece of mesh, it's only the smaller one fits. I've obviously got two pieces of mesh because this came as a single sheet. And I already made the original grill and the bits for the... Um, Front valance as well, so came out of this. Obviously comes square, but I want my mesh to be 45 degrees, so you have to do this funky angle, and it's not good for best use of material, but it's the only way to do it. Mark, start installing this now, so this is going to slide in here, in the groove that I made. Fabulous. It's the way around, I think. Oh, I keep dropping washers, man. Dude! And then the other bit. Post in there like that. Slide it in. Yep. Yep, okay, good. And that, my friends, is done. So, it's all nice and neat. You can't see anything from the outside again along there in there and down there nice good finish and sitting neatly inside there as well and both of those look so yeah happy days right we've got to get out in the car and then do some more mods to the radiator shroud so really good start right next thing we need to do is to make that bigger so we can fit this bad boy on there like that, so, right, first things first, get this off. Then we're gonna temporarily put it on, draw the holes, I think, mark up what I need to cut out, and then start cutting it. And stuff, it's not clean up. Move that out of the way. Oh, I've got a couple of bits of double-sided tape. Post this through. Happy days. Two. Come at the bottom. Three. Awesome. Put it in this side. Oh, it's a good fit in it. Right, guys, that looks great, doesn't it? So this, I'm not putting anything else on this side. It's just, yeah, it's just going to come 
through the hole. I mean, look at the angle of that. That's just going to come on in in here in the supercharger area, and it's going to come. The height of it is kind of into the inlet manifold, so we we'll get a nice gust of wind under here and in that manifold. So and hopefully it will come to the back and be the intake as well. So yeah, happy with that. But we'll do some testing, won't we? We've got some results with this, so we're going to try it with this and see how we get on. But yeah, it's good. But I'm not quite happy. So that is coming out at the wrong angle now. This whole thing is slightly at an angle because it's kind of been pushed forward so I can avoid the pulley. Now I could level it all back up again, but it means cocking over the radiator more. And I've already got this spacer in now and I don't really want to do any more of that. So what I'm going to do is print another one of these with a bend on it. So it'll level up and then it actually I can go down as well because I've got to go down, look across. I need to go down into here, which is lower. So what I'm going to do now is put the grill on and then just figure out the angles and have something a bit of a elephant's trunk that's going to come in and slightly down. All right, let's get this horn off. Okay, lovely jubbly. Everyone, I painted this. I didn't really know what I was doing. So it's got a nice coat of green on it. There's no real top coat. There's no lacquer on it. You know what I mean? See how shiny this is and how dull that is. Yes, just leave it. Boom, that's in. <laughs> Can't get my hand out there. Oh, thought I was stuck then. <laughs> and then this one here. Boom. It looks awesome. Yes. So happy with that, yeah. That's great. Right, so you see my problem here. So that goes in that way. And that goes in. Oh, very similar in terms of angle, just pointing in the wrong direction. Right, so that needs to come down like that. And then that one. It's just kind of rubbish, but come down like. Is my centre punch sharp enough? Indeed, it is. Right, I'm making good progress here guys, all I'm doing is I'm just using my pliers, grabbing a bit, and then working it. Until it breaks off. Obviously you won't see this, but just take the sharp edges off. Right. All right, guys, there we are. A couple of days later, that's all printed off. It's got a nice downward angle and then an inward angle. So sitting there like that and help directs the ducting. Got this little undercut as well. Um, it's a bit more, uh, not as many sides on this bit of pipe work. So I'm doing this in Tinkercad, nice and simple bit of software, easy to use. There's obviously, obviously more extensive software you can use out there to make it a lot better and smoother. Well, this is just straightforward enough, but the sides um, on a cylinder are a lot less on a bit of pipe, just because the way it is. So, but that's perfectly fine for the job we're trying to do today. So let's put this on. This is all nice and painted as well, so that's all our time to to set. So we're good to go with this, getting this on, so. Well, there you go, guys, see straight through there now, which is great. 
And then that's coming down to there. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Right, this horn mount's going to be in the way, so can I, can I get in there and get it off? Oh dear, no. <sighs> that might be a problem. There's a bolt, on, well, there's a nut in the uh, wheel arch. So, um, yeah, that's not coming out. So, it's just stripped the uh, screw heads. So, I just need to cut it out. So, we'll be cutting it out in the wheel arch. All right, guys, so I've cut that out now. So, that pathway is clear. I put a bit of paint on it as well, so protective on rusting, etc. etc. That's all I might need to put another coat on, but it's fine for now. Right, let's feed this in under here. What I've done with this is I kind of folded it in on itself to make the edge neater, and that works quite well. So get it on the front and then we can cut it to length, can't we? Okay, just drop it on there. And then what I'm going to do, I think, is just cut it long. And then shorten it if need be. And the wire clippers. Oh my god, strong wire. Ah, oh. <coughs> uh, it's better. Now it's on. Take a little bit more off that. Oh, there we are. Cool, yeah. Uh, I've in on this up. Again, I have to reach through the hole and just feed it in at the bottom. And that, slide on. Yeah. That's a bit more direct. Cool, yeah. Right. Done. Right. You can, oh, there's a bit of thread there. I need to tidy up. You can see up there, so that should duct in quite nicely. Yeah, looks quite neat. Don't need any clips at the end, it's sprung so it's not going to go anywhere. And I think it looks really good, quite professional, quite neat, yeah. Right, now I'm going to run it up to temperature and then go for a spin and see if it helps with the temperature in there. Right guys, I'm back. I've just been for a run. It's getting dark and getting wet, so I couldn't give as much time as I wanted. So it only got to 50 degrees under the bonnet when I was ticking over. I went for my run and it got down to about 23 degrees. So it's making a, a notable difference, but it is colder today out there. So obviously I'm getting cooler air coming in anyway. So that's probably going to drag it down as well, but it can only help, can't it? And it looks cool. Right, one thing I do want to show you is I've printed another one off and I've made a few slight modifications. and. I want your opinion. Should I put this in? Because I think it looks quite cool. Or is it a bit garish? But Or should I leave it like that? It's the same as before. I've just put that wording in embossed in there. So when you look at it from the front, you just be able to see supercharged. Um, so I'll put that in there. And it would, be, it would be quite subtle, but people would notice it. I'd know it was there. Not everyone would see it. So I think it might be quite cool. Let me know what you think. Should I put this one on? Um, I'm a bit wary to put it on just yet because it's not running very well. But maybe I've, after I've had it tuned early October, I might change this out and put the supercharged one on. We'll see. Let me know. Right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cold air ducting video. And if you do want any of these files so you can print them yourself or get someone to print them for you, then give me a shout and I can share them. No problem there. Cheers, guys. And if you've not done yet, please hit like, um, and subscribe. Subscribers wise, I'm about 20 or so away from 2,500. Really want to try and get to 2,500. The, the channel gets to two years old in about a week. So if I can get to two and a half thousand subscribers by that point, that would be really good. So if you've not done it, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys. Until next time, my name's Craig and I'm exhausted. Cheers.